and welcome back everyone, Diatmo here with some new updates from the force of rural France. Actually rather disturbing updates this time. The old man not going off grid but yeah a combination of swimming off grid like a good old admiral and flying off grid like someone from the Air Force. <laughs> because that's what it was. So yeah, let's maybe start at the beginning. Of course, this weekend started with a continuation of the rain. And it was already clear that again, for the third week, I think now in a row, the old man could not do anything on the side of progressing with our off-grid situation here. But uh, yeah, then very quickly the rain switched into a formidable hailstorm with hails almost chicken egg size. So that was, I think, pretty scary. And I'm not quite sure if at any point in my life I saw actually big hails like this. I think one time a few years ago, maybe 10 years ago, there were big hails like this. So that was a unique experience in many ways. I tried to make a photo at, or a video, but I didn't even want to come close to the door of the yard. I was just sitting inside the yard, almost lying under the bed because, yeah, if you have hails like this, then um, I think um, a proper house would be more secure than a yard. I didn't expect actually that it will still stand after. <laughs> On the side of the car, it looks like um, nothing really badly got damaged. Uh, the windows are still in place but um, at some point I say okay that's it that's it now it's all lost <laughs> so yeah nothing I could do really to prevent that and uh, to rescue anything the cats were all in the yard so the cats are all fine the old man is fine the yard is fine was fine until the hail storm changed into a uh, orcane so then not just hail came from falling from the sky but whole trees so let me explain you or show you by swooping around with a camera yeah this knucklehead here this branch about yeah a decent five meter possibly six meters long so about 15 to 18 feet long and very heavy down here on the root came crashing down on the yard from all the way up there <laughs> so at least 10 meters that was not fun suddenly there was a big crash i was inside the yard at this point and it hit a yard here you can see the little indentation because it did yeah not a lot of damage the yacht is in its very conception extremely stable but uh, it did damage irreparable damage so let me show this let's go inside the yard and uh, yeah now all the light is gone oh i cannot switch on the light give me a second no i can't ah this is bad ah now this is really bad okay let's maybe take these guys out i will show you outside and um yeah but this should show off a little bit yeah here so you see that the red beams here which build a, or form the roof and two of them are now gone now we have 81 i counted two of them are gone which is a 2.5 percent loss but uh, i cannot push them back in because that would require quite some dismantling of the yard so we live basically now with a little lack of roof <laughs> in a way so let's go out yeah there's no light because i think the next thunderstorm or whatever is coming the next okay or wind or yeah rain or possibly hail even is coming but uh, yeah this is now the result of this impact as you can see it was clear broken through so both beams were lying on the floor then and um, this is just one half of it but uh, yeah, the impact was dramatically heavy. That is for sure. I'm not sure how heavy this knucklehead is. It took me quite some time to move it just a few meters away off the roof of the yard, but uh, it's extremely heavy. So yeah, possibly we should count ourselves lucky that the yard didn't 
break apart. Yeah, the grid wall was taking possibly the, the gist of the impact here and survived, but uh, yeah, two of the beams not. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not sure what would have happened. I think, yeah, the cats would have been dead and possibly a human as well having this branch landing on the head. So we survived. In its very conception, the yacht is extremely stable. So lucky us. Now, another branch came crashing down. You can see kind of the cat, Schmoozy, exploring on the branch. It's maybe uh, three, four meters long. So also a decent 10 feet, I think, and not too heavy, but this knucklehead landed not too far away from our willow. <laughs> so yeah, if this would have landed, this branch would have landed on willow, then I think there would be a big dent in willow as well. Ah, she was lucky, like the old man and the cat. <laughs> That's for sure. Nothing really on this side of dangerous. I think there are some little dents from the, yeah, I'm not quite sure. There might be here some dents from the, from the hail but nothing really in need to be repaired because I wouldn't have money for that <laughs> yeah that would be very very expensive ah don't get me started this weekend was a disaster <laughs> so yeah on Friday however I could do a little bit and also nothing really to be proud of because my hand my hands actually are still bleeding I cannot really show you <laughs> because I need to hold the camera here but uh, yeah I've been starting to make the path for willow in between the uh, yeah, showers of rain it wasn't too heavily raining it was just uh, continuously raining with some 10 minute interruption and now it started to rain again oh no <laughs> pretty bad fall that's for sure but uh, yeah i started to make the path here of course all this rubbish is still there because I need a carrier to just transport it over there and put it on the little dirt mountain or no, not mountain but hill we want to make with all the stones below so yeah but I've been cutting away or starting to cut away on these thorny bushes however over the past one two decades they really grew a lot and they are pretty pretty big now, i think these are berry bushes if you swoop in here or zoom in here then yeah these are berries they are now dried out and rotten away but they are usually not that bad the berries are very tasty as well with a lot of sugar and possibly some ice cream i love that but uh, yeah most of them are dead however they are very thick and uh, thorns are extremely sturdy and uh, painful. I had some gloves but uh, yeah this doesn't really help unless you have like uh, metal gloves or whatever <laughs> they really stick through even through thick leather gloves so yeah my hands are bleeding I need to stop then with the uh, with the slashing away of these bushes that was not fun that's for sure and certain but it needs to be done but uh, yeah most of them are now gone at least along the pathway the future pathway for willow because one thing is sure i don't want to see willow anymore under a hailstorm outside so at least some preliminary shelter is really required for preventing that she get damaged by hail or by falling trees and branches etc etc so yeah all the thorny bushes are now gone this i could do then the pathway i laid out it will now go through here so yeah there are still some little tree saplings in need to be removed but uh, nothing on the side of thorny then I slashed a little bit further down with the hammer with Thor's hammer on the concrete here nothing really too fancy but uh, yeah this is kind of yeah I could only work like for 10 minutes and then it got bad again on the side of rain and then hail and all cane. Actually, yeah, I couldn't really do a lot outside because I'm not that light. So I think my weight is like 80 kilo. So maybe, uh, I'm not sure how much this would be in pounds, about 150 pounds possibly. 
but uh, yeah sometimes I felt like lifting off the ground and I said oh no that's not good <laughs> so I needed to go back into the yacht and also yeah my cold is kind of gone but I don't want to take the risk to get it back so um, and I hope that there might be still a weekend in the lifetime of the old man when there's no rain or hail or arcane type winds so yeah but it's progressing so don't you worry it's it's getting down just 10 minutes and um, a little bit more got removed it's it's actually pretty easy it's just requiring some stable weather then the final update concerns our cottage because as the wind was driving the rain sideways so yeah the wind came from all sides and not from above <laughs> this weekend the rain of course went through the windows into the cottage and actually yeah the result was uh, almost a cover with water inside the cottage on the ground on the floor so yeah i bought it off i not bought it off but i sealed off with a little plastic cover here the the yard and not the cottage the windows and indeed it's dry so i dried it then out and it remains dry so even the i'm not sure if this will really show it's very dark in here because it's raining again yeah even the the roof the, the holes in the roof are not too big it needs really to rain for a long long time and very heavy uh, so that water is trickling through and it wasn't really heavily raining it's just persistent rain so the floor is actually remaining dry which is very nice unfortunately i cannot show you because now it's pretty dark inside the cottage but uh, yeah that was a test i needed to do because there might have been some holes in the walls but uh, from the looks of it nothing no holes nothing and it's it remains dry so that is absolutely fantastic yeah and some cat is meowing here and this seems to be schmoozy she's always dropping around yeah possibly for the first time outside the yacht this weekend and that concerns maybe the last update on the side of kitten yeah as i was saying schmoozy was in the yacht for yeah all the weekend all the cats were actually in the yacht they really we were afraid of the rain and here she's coming <laughs> Not sure if this will show on camera. Let me turn a little bit around. Maybe you see this on camera in the background. But uh, yeah, they were inside the yard. They were really afraid of the of the um, storm and uh, yeah, the arcane actually. And uh, yeah, now I have no hope anymore that the kitten is actually still alive. Again, I'm sorry that I cannot give any better updates, but. Um, Let's say it like this, the glass is half full, it only can get better. There is no way it can get worse. <laughs> I hope at least, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, with hail big like this and falling trees basically, um, I think we covered it possibly all now on the side of what can go wrong. Anyway, I hope nevertheless that you enjoyed and tune back in next time when we hopefully see some sun, which is yes, just coming out in uh, let's maybe turn the camera around to to finish off this episode maybe with a little light of hope if this makes any sense stay poetic <laughs> so yeah maybe next weekend we continue along the lines we laid out and actually can do something so i'm looking very much forward to that be ensured of that because sitting in the yacht for a weekend is yeah not good I'm not happy with that, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you tune in back next time when we continue with better updates and uh, work done. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you again very much for watching. Over and out, good hunting, and yes, hopefully see you next time.